Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to filter the values area in a pivot table. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's go ahead and turn this range of data into a pivot table first. So I'm in the range here. I go ahead and click Insert, uh, Pivot Table, and I'm going to go ahead and just put it into the existing worksheet here. Go ahead and select this cell here and just click OK. And I'm going to bring in some items. Let's bring in our uh, item values or item field here and I'll bring in my quantity field here. So we've brought in the quantity field into the values area here and the item into the rows uh, field here. So when we say filtering on uh, the values area, you'll notice that I can select this drop down. It gives me the ability to sort and also filter. So sort, I can go sort from uh, A to Z, basically ascending or sort descending. Right, and so it sorts these particular values in the row fields ascending or descending. I can also uh, filter. So let's say I just wanted the top three. So I could click on this top 10 here and I select top three here. And I'm basing my top three uh, on the quantity. So it's going to give me back uh, item five, item two, and item one, right? So I click OK. You see item five, two, and one here. I can sort in my values field. If I select that and right click, I have the ability to sort, right? Smallest, we have smallest to largest. Uh, and I can right click and also uh, sort uh, largest to smallest. But so as I mentioned before, there's no ability to create a filter. So we have our filters here. But if I select and right click, there's no filter capability here. Well, there actually is a workaround to that if you wanted to do something like that. Um, one of the things that you may want to do that for is, let's say you want to filter uh, some of the values here, but, but you want that grand total to stay the same as if, it were, as if it were the value of the whole thing. So if I uh, unselect or clear this filter, you would notice that the grand total is 1491. But let's say I just wanted the top three items here, and I still wanted to have that grand total show up, but use my filter there. So one way to get around that is just click here onto the left or the right of the pivot table and create a filter. So I can go up here and select a filter, or I can go ahead and type in a keyboard shortcut. Use the Alt A T keyboard shortcut. You'll notice now that it's turned on the filter here for the sum of quantity. And if I click this drop down we have this filter capability. Now I can just select a uh, top 10. You, you can see we have all these other filtering capabilities where we have equal, greater, less than, between. If I choose the top 10, now we have my filter capability. I can just use uh, the top three here, the top three items, click OK. You notice it still gave me the one, two, and five, but you notice, look, it did not change the grand total down here. So I can still get my filtering capability without changing the grand total here. So there's a capability that we have there where if we wanted to create a filter in our value section, we didn't have to take this table and copy and paste it into another worksheet or another range of cells and then turn on the filtering. We can actually do it here within the pivot table by itself. You just click here on to the right of it and turn on the filtering, either go into home and go ahead and click on uh, the filter, or you can just use the keyboard, sh keyboard shortcut, Alt A T, and that will do it. So that's the way that we can have the uh, filtering capabilities in the values field or the values area for a pivot table. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.